Hi, and welcome to Lunch with Lisa. Today, I am going to be making for you zucchini spinach manicotti. It's Lunch with Lisa. So today, I am going to be using my air fryer. So, I am just putting it on bake today. I'm preheating it to 375. And then to make this mm, lovely spinach, uh, zucchini spinach manicotti, you need two zucchini. I have two large zucchini, and then I have my death machine. This thing, I swear I would never buy another one because I sliced myself pretty bad on the last one. But I went ahead and bought this one that has this lovely container so it doesn't get all over the counter. And it has a nice guard here. And it comes with a glove. So I'm gonna use that. It's a little protection. And uh, I like to call it my Michael Jackson glove. <laughs> <laughs> and so for this one, I just need a thin slicer blade. It comes with all these lovely blade attachments and another um, peeler. So I'm gonna find the thin blade, because there's two of these. Okay, so one's thick and one's thin. I want the thinner one. So this, I wanna do not quarter of an inch, but an eighth of an inch, and that's what this is. And it has these like spiralizer attachments too. They'll be fun to use whenever I make zoodles. Okay, so I'm gonna set those aside. I'm gonna plop this guy in here like that and then I wanted something that I could lay these on flat and slice them that way so I'm going to trim off these little edges first okay and now I am going to use <laughs> this guy see if that works Ooh, okay, maybe I don't need that. Maybe I'll just do this, but be very careful with my fingers. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. See this? So good. This is why this thing did not work for me last time. It has these nice thin, ooh, they're so beautiful. Okay, <laughs> now we're cooking. Okay, so this might be successful this time. The last time I made these, it ended up being more like lasagna, which I'm glad I have this glove on. Yes, okay. Which you could make this into a lasagna if you don't have a mandolin slicer and you don't want a death machine in your house. I totally understand it, because same. <laughs> uh, but this one, I like the way it's stored. Uh, I'll put a link down below where you can so you know where to find these on Amazon. Because I like it. I like it a lot. And it comes with this nifty, you know, anti-death glove. And I feel like Michael Jackson. So it's getting kind of close. Making me a little nervous. But I'm just gonna go slow. I think that's key. <gasps> Well, that, that zucchini is done. So I have all these lovely zucchini slices. We're only gonna use the really good slices, I think. And then you can save the rest for your compost bin. You could save the rest for a salad. You could freeze it and put it in soup. So many things to do with excess food. Definitely freezing it is a great option to use later. Oh, so pretty. Let's check the hair. It's getting in my eyeballs. I got a mirror right here. It's pretty nifty. <laughs> Makes my kitchen feel big. This can go in my compost bin. And then this, I'm wash it in the sink. In a medium bowl, we're gonna combine one and a half cups of ricotta. This is part skim milk ricotta, so it's low fat. One egg. And when my spinach is starting to go bad, I like to put it in the freezer and then I can just crush it. I need one cup frozen spinach. Maybe a little bit more. 
starts to thaw so fast. There we go. And then here I have a cup and a half of mozzarella, but I only need half of it. So I'm just gonna grab about half of this, stick it in there, and the rest we're gonna save for later. I have eighth of a cup of Parmesan. I'm trying to sound fancy. Parmesan. Mama. We need eighth of a teaspoon salt. I have some kosher salt here. That's about eighth of a teaspoon. Maybe I'm wrong there. <laughs> and then to give it just a little oomph and have that like background flavor that are like, mm, just like a pinch of nutmeg. Like a little bit. It smells so good. And I'm just gonna mix it all up with the fork. Oh yeah. Okay, now we have all that yummy filling. Put that aside. So I have this lovely glass baking dish I'm gonna use in my air fryer. It fits in there nicely. And I don't know this recipe, I guess. Okay. Layer three slices of zucchini parallel to each other. Ooh. Ooh. Lightly grease it. Ooh. Okay, so I have my baking dish and I have my zucchini. And this is the fun part. We're gonna be making these little manicotti. So we're gonna take three zucchinis, slices. And we're gonna kind of overlap them just a little. A large spoonful of this right on here, right at the end. So, and then we're gonna just roll this up. I'm gonna lightly grease this baking dish. Put that around. Don't want anything to stick. And then I'm gonna place this guy down inside. And then just repeat until it's all filled up. Have more scraps for the garden or freeze it for soup. Look how beautiful that is. And now I'm just going to open a can of tomato sauce. Low sugar. If you can find low sugar, you can use like, um, you don't have to use tomato sauce, you could use, what's it called? You could use low sugar spaghetti sauce instead of tomato sauce. And I'm gonna use a cup. Then I'm gonna pour this right on top. Yum, yum, yum. And so since this is just tomato sauce, it's got nothing in it. I figured I'd sprinkle some Italian seasoning on it. Zhuzh it up a little bit and then the leftover mozzarella cheese. And if you want to sprinkle some Parmesan on there too, you can. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven. Uncovered for 25 minutes. Okay, I'll be back in 25 minutes to plate it up for you guys and give it a good taste. Yum, can't wait. Mmm, look at that loveliness. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit here and cool for five minutes. So right now it's super juicy, but I'm gonna sprinkle some Parmesan while it's still warm. All right. I'm gonna scoop out. Oh, the cheese ran off. <laughs> no problem. Another one. Oh yeah. Some sauce on the plate. Looks so good. My plating is so beautiful. <laughs> right? Isn't that lovely? It's super hot. I'm gonna try it anyway. I love hot food. Alright, let's see how this turned out. Can it replace actual pasta? Hmm. Oh, maybe that's good. That's good, good, good. That tastes just like manicotti. I'm like shocked. Okay. Oh yes, I love the taste of ricotta cheese. It's like got a sweetness to it. That's like nothing else. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Oh, that mozzarella. Mm. Yeah, it's just got enough salt and flavor. The flavor is delicious. What is it? It's that ricotta. Mm-hmm. It's a great one for vegetarians. We've got no meat, just egg and cheese for the protein. That lovely zucchini. Mm-hmm. Yep. That is delicious. I could eat this whole thing. Mm-hmm. Makes four servings. Takes no time at all. The only thing you have to worry about is the death slicer, the mandolin. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. And if you like what you see and you want to see more content like this, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn on that notification, and I'll see you on the flip side. It's lunch with Lisa.